Hello and welcome to my first tutorial about Calculix and PrePro Max. Um, I'm using PrePro Max on Windows under the version 0 0.9. Um, it is a pre and post processor for Windows, so maybe you can use it together with Wine on Linux, but I haven't tried it. So, but so I use it under Windows and Today I want to show you only the basics, so how to import a CAD model, how to mesh it, uh, what settings you have to do to start a easy simulation. Um, by the way, this is not a CAD tutorial, which means, means I will provide, of course, um, the models for you in a step format, but I will not uh, create them together with you. Okay, so let's start and create a new model. So we can click here on this button or we can go to file and then on new. Uh, okay, and the first thing we have to do is we have to set our unit system. And I always take um, millimeters. Okay. Now we have to import our file here. Go to file and then import. And here I have a step file and then OK. And here uh, PPM shows us our beautiful little cantilever. And what I want to do today is I want to simulate this Theme, which will be supported in this area by a fixed boundary condition and it will have a force here which creates a bending. Okay, the first thing we have to do is always we have to create a mesh. Um, so here we have our parts and um, so we have no assembly, we have only one part and yeah, let's change the name here so you can double click on it and then let's call it Peter. You can call it whatever you want. And I want to mesh Peter. So click here, right click on Peter or beam or whatever you want to call it and then meshing parameters. I don't want to talk today here about everything we stick with the settings so only click on ok and then right click create a mesh and here we have our beautiful looking mesh um what you can see or what you maybe have realized already he the ppm switched from geometry where we have set our settings for the mesh to FE model. And here we can set um, different node sets or element sets, surfaces, reference points, materials, boundary conditions, and so on and so on. So like I said, this will be a very easy and simple tutorial today. So what I want to do is I want to create a node set here where will be my, uh, my support and I want to call it support and I want to create a element uh, a surface Oop. here not here here and I will call this surface only load um, okay so we have our only a not set support and a surface load. Our material need also a material. Our part needs a material. So we can create a completely new material, but not now. Let's use the material library. And here we can choose between some steels or uh, plastics. But I want to take this one so choose one of them 
all of them, it doesn't matter. And then click here on this little arrow and then on OK. The next step is very important, it is the sections part, create a new section. And here um, you have to tell Calculix later, is our part here a solid or a shell? And it is a solid. And we can choose here usually the material. So we have only created one material, so we cannot choose. And we can also, um, and we have to select now our part. So click here on selection, then on part name. And we have only Peter here because we have no assembly, so we have only one part. Okay. Good. The next step is we have to create a step. Create step. And here we will take the static step and then OK. Good. Like I said, we have a support and we have a load. Click on the PCs, which means boundary conditions. Right click, create, fixed, and then we can choose our not set. And here we created it already. And here we have now our support. We could also use a surface name, but we did it with a, with a node set. Okay, and then I want a load on the surface, which goes into the negative um, direction. So let's create the surface traction. The surface traction will be um, on our surface, which is called load. And like I said, in a negative direction, and let's say, oops, minus 100 Newton. Okay. So now we have set our mesh, we have set our material, we have set um, our support and we have set our loads. The next thing is we can simulate our model. So click here on analyzes, right click and then run. And Calculix will start and it's already finished. Click here on results. And he will switch from FE model, uh, FE, yeah, model to results. And here we can see the displacement in millimeters um, overall. So I want to see the displacement in U2 direction. And oop, we see, um, let's change post-processing to the defined Um, yeah, we can also have a look on our Mises stress. Um, yeah. Okay, we can change, of course, some of our post-processing settings. Um, like I already did, we can create a, a view only with a true scale. So. Here you will see almost nothing. Um, we can also change our legend here from rainbow, for example, to cool and warm. Yeah. Okay, good. I guess this is enough for a basic tutorial. And the next time I want to show you uh, how to use a program in much more details and okay so i hope it was helpful and i wish you a nice day